I want to know what it feels like letting it go. But I'm scared it's going to crush me. Come with me. Okay. But it's going to take a whole lot more than a hole in the ground to get the old man out of your head. Hi, Rodrigo. How are you doing? Hey. I, I got to say, man, uh, I've, I've watched so many of your, your projects. I mean, I remember watching Mother and Child and thinking, like, this is such a great script. And I, I want to know, do you, I mean, do you, do you feel like this script, like, is a level above, or are you able to judge your work like that? But does this story, like, this script feel any different for you than, in a way, than, than other projects you wrote? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm fond and happy and unhappy and, you know, in different degrees with all my projects and all my scripts, you know, you always have mixed feelings. What I'm happy with Raymond and Ray is that I was able to address, um, you know, the themes that interest me, family and, you know, being trapped in relationships, et cetera, but with more um, human folly, more humor, um, more, um, more craziness, not just straight up drama. So that, that I think is different for me and I, I enjoy doing it. Oh, where are we? About an hour and a half out. having a dream I was in a natural history museum <laughs> there's one of those theater like windows remember those a naked caveman killing a mammoth your mom used to take us mm -hmm. that was your mom my mom hated that place said it gave her the creeps no didn't your mo mom oh maybe you're right uh, anyway I'm in the museum and dad Harris is one of the prehistoric men <laughs> yeah so I'm trying to break the glass, trying to get him out of there, trying to free him. But I look down, and I'm naked, too, like the other cavemen. What do you think it means? It means it's going to take a whole lot more than a hole in the ground to get the old man out of your head. I recently went to a, a funeral for my son's track coach, who also was an actor, Roger Mosley. He was in uh, Magnum P.I. as T.C., the helicopter and he had an open bar at his funeral and, I, and it made me think about people that plan out you know what to happen after I mean is this something I know it's kind of morbid but do you do you think about what what happens after after you're gone I mean have you have you put thought into that does this script make you think about it anymore you know I think I think um I think there's something good about people deciding you know what their end of their life should be and i think it's also good to uh you know have a plan from for for your funeral perhaps i think you know for the family it might be uh you know a a uh, a, a great help to know that they're doing what you wanted what you wanted instead of them having to take decisions right it's a very vulnerable time i think it, it would free us a lot to decide how to leave and then how to say goodbye to us. And I think your friend who chose the bar, you know, was telling us, you know, it's not all sadness, celebrate. I enjoyed my time here. Yeah. Perhaps. I wonder as as a writer, I, I read that, you know, at first it was just about um, Raymond and, and then you decided to introduce the half brother. Um, how, how far along do you get when you're writing, you know, the story without the half brother? And did you have to like, you know, kind of like start all the way from scrap after you figured out, hey, I'm gonna introduce this half brother and we want like how how does that go as a writer? The version with one with just the one son was a whole 30 minute movie. I could only find 30 minutes to tell, which is why I didn't make it, because you know, 30 minutes is very hard. It's expensive and how do you, you know, where does it play? So it was a finished film, but it only had one brother and he was at the grave and he did play the trumpet and the reverend was there and a woman showed up with a boy. So some of the elements were there. When I decided 
that it was going to be two half brothers. Then I started from the beginning and for the section in the cemetery, I stole a lot from the short script, but I did rewrite the whole thing from the beginning. Well, this this is a great work, man. As a Thank as you. an audience member, I was satisfied, and and as a as a film critic and as as a judge, I just feel like this uh, as, among the great perf perf performances by Ewan and Ethan and Sophie and and everybody else. I just feel like this script is is a lock to be considered for for original screenplay. I mean, this this screenplay is is so amazing. And uh, you did a great job. So I appreciate your time and I uh, appreciate the Thank work. Thank you very much. I appreciate that.